we're walking through a eh, it's a path we've walked through before haven't walked through here in a while though it's all overgrown this is a good place to go if you need to travel uh, cross country without getting noticed yeah cut across where the power lines are that's always been my thing to to travel these power lines because it's usually underneath it it's usually clear because they keep it mowed and it's going to go through some cities and towns but a lot of people aren't looking that way you know they see the power lines but you know how you see something but you don't see something you know it's there but you're not really looking and it'll be a good reference a good guide like almost like a road because you don't want to be on a road but it's it it, it uh, serves as a a nice road if you will yeah but you wanted to talk yeah just a bit of a bone to pick uh -oh. the very last video that Feel went a rant up, coming on yeah the very last video that went up got pulled it got pulled pretty quickly and it got a strike and it was because uh, ScrewTube claims it wants to keep their community safe. And the way that they keep their community safe is by not letting you think for yourself, not letting you decide what you want to see and don't want to see. Taking away your freedom of speech. Yeah, and it seems like every time uh, I have a video that goes up that gets like around a thousand views in the first hour, they find a way to pull the rug out from under it. They, they pull it down or they give it a strike or they age restrict it with which, which is basically a death sentence because once it's age restricted you can't see it you have to be signed in to see it you have to verify your age it you cannot find it in the search engine you can't find it without the link you can't get monetized they basically demolish it hmm. and I had one uh, a couple of weeks back they did that too in a couple of hours it had like 7,000 views then all of a sudden age restricted nobody's seen it since mm -hmm. um, but the one this morning and that was about you know we were just having a casual discussion about how everybody is getting a shot and apparently that's dangerous talk according to screw tube and so they ruined it they they pulled it out it was a lot of a lot of thumbs up a lot of comments people were feeling what we were talking about okay but they don't want you to uh, think for yourself they don't want you to feel what somebody's talking about they don't want you to engage in conversation they just want you to believe what they want you to believe they want you to put up videos that they want you to put up they it, it what's insulting about it is they tell you oh be a content creator talk about whatever you want but you really can't hmm. you really can't unless you're talking about cats and dildos they're you're not going to really get very far on ScrewTube, unfortunately. And it's frustrating. And um, a lot of people are saying, oh, go to this platform, go to that platform. It's not as easy as all that. I've gone to other platforms before. Uh, they, they either disappear, or they're real buggy and don't work very well. Or nobody watches. And it's frustrating to... Uh, to go through the time and the effort to to put videos out and then nobody sees them on well with screw tube nobody sees them because they won't let you mm -hmm. and then on the other platforms nobody sees them because there's nobody there mm -hmm. and and they kind of have you over a barrel also with the ad revenue because you can earn some little bit of income from screw tube through the ads and they use that against you they work it against you but on the other platforms there is no source of income and I know it's not about the income necessarily you know I'm not trying to make a fat paycheck here but it's nice to get some recognition when you do it and also there are other people that are in here that this is a, a source of income from them for these people they need it and they're being they're being hammered for it and you know I, I that you can make the argument because some people do that oh well you know it's a private platform and they can do whatever they want sure but that's not how they present themselves yeah they're not honest about it they're really not and then they'll still run ads on your stuff 
and then keep the revenue from it. If you get a yellow strike, they're like, oh yeah, you know, we, we reserve the right to, and I talked about this in detail in a previous video on Coffee Talk, because I have the other channel, Coffee Talk, that they can go ahead and run um, ads on your video after they've restricted you from, from ad compensation in the first place. So they're still profiting off your video, even though they don't want anybody to see it. Hmm. it there, there's something wrong. There's, six, there's over 60,000 subscribers on this channel. No, almost nobody gets the uh, notifications. I put a video out. It's lucky to get a couple of thousand views in a month. Something is wrong. They're doing something. And then when something does take off, they shut it down. That's very aggravating. Uh, people are like, oh, go to BitChute. I've tried being on BitChute. First of all, BitChute's starting to do this too. Mm. I've been hearing a lot of complaints from people that BitChute is starting to censor. Um, BitChute is very buggy to work with, not only for putting videos up, but for the people who watch them, have trouble getting them to work. And uh, all I got on BitChute was a lot of really ugly comments. It, it's without uh, anybody even having enough time to see the video. <laughs> it's like, it, why are you even in here? It's frustrating. A lot of people are telling me to try Odyssey. I can try Odyssey. Um, again, one thing to keep in mind with a lot of so-called content creators, they call them artists now. They're YouTube artists. They're changing the terminology. Is that on all, most of these other platforms, pretty much all of these other platforms, there's no compensation for these people. There's none. Fan base supported means no compensation mm -hmm. because most fans aren't going to help you. They're really just not. I, I've been ribbed about that before. People are like, oh, you're probably making a fortune with all those, uh, all those crypto links and all that other stuff. More than two years, the crypto links have been in the uh, description on these videos. Not one of them has ever been used. Think about it. <laughs> I'm serious. Not one has ever been used. And, you know, there's no obligation. I'm not doing this sitting there saying, you have to help out. You don't. You don't really, you don't have to do that. If, if somebody wants to, that's fine. But there's, um, there's no obligation. I'm not going to stop making videos because nobody does it. But it, it doesn't work. That was the whole appeal of, of uh, ad compensation in the first place. And they have turned this, uh, Google and ScrewTube have turned this into a, a way to put the screws to their so-called content creators or artists, video artists. Again, on Coffee Talk, um, some months ago, and I put a video up on this too, and I think I, did I show the uh, emails? I don't remember. Uh, ScrewTube tried to bribe me on that channel. They offered me a couple of thousand dollars worth of camera equipment and whatever if I would do um, LGB videos or Lives Matter videos or something like that instead of what I was talking about, mm -hmm. which I refused <laughs> because I'm not trying to I'm not trying to be bought here. That's why I don't uh, I don't take um, uh, what's the term for it. I don't take um, offers, mm -hmm. you know, people want me to promote products. Mm -hmm. I've been offered to promote products on the channel before. People want me to, uh, a flashlight, so the, you know, the flashlight, you see them run them over with the truck and other garbage or, you know, the 30-year the food or whatever. And I don't advertise it because I'm not going to use that stuff. I'm not going to sit there and tell you to buy an $80 flashlight you know, so that I can make a couple of dollars. I don't feel comfortable with that. If it was something I'd actually use, maybe, but a lot of it is just a lot of, a lot of garbage that's overpriced. And so I'm just trying to like sit here and have honest discussions and reach out to people and whatever, and they keep making it really, really difficult. Um, I can go ahead and try to mirror on Odyssey. I know a lot of people were upset. I got a few messages from people that were like, Hey, I actually got a notification for this video this morning and it's not there. <laughs> what happened? That's what happened. Apparently my, uh, my discussion was dangerous. I, I wasn't telling anybody to do anything. You know, I wasn't making any threats. I wasn't being aggressive, but 
a casual conversation that doesn't fit their mold to them is dangerous. Anytime anybody is trying to prevent you from expressing your thoughts and ideas, that's dangerous. Because, you know, if somebody's a fool and they talk, some people will believe them, most will not. But they have the right to make that choice. And they'll see it for what it is, most of them, right? But if, the, if there's a system in place trying to silence you, trying to prevent you from talking, that's what's really dangerous. And that's what we've come to here with ScrewTube, with Facebook, with uh, Twitter, with all these platforms. They, they, they're trying to silence you. And platforms get silenced. Like I said, I've been on a couple before that have totally disappeared trying to find a way to get away from ScrewTube to reach out to people. They get bought out by a bigger company who just turn them off. They just turn them off to continue to silence people. Or under pressure, like what I'm hearing about is happening in the bit shoot now, they start um, censoring people anyway so that they can continue to operate. These platforms are in business to make money. I don't want to hear about free speech platforms and all you can say whatever you want. It isn't true. Or if it is, it won't be for long. Uh, again, I can I can go ahead and I'll, I'm looking into it, see if I can mirror on Odyssey. Maybe I can get some of the videos up that have blo been blocked or mirror some of the other ones. And at which time I'll put out another video and just say, hey, you know, you can all you, uh, you can see this on Odyssey now if anybody's using it, and you can check it out there. I'm going to still try to put videos up uh, on this platform because, unfortunately, again, it's really the only one that, that fully works hmm. from what I've seen. If anyone else has any other suggestions, feel free to put it in the comments section. But, I mean, that's what happened, and like I said, I'm kind of uh, burning off a little fumes there, letting off some steam because that's just frustrating. And I'm not, I'm not just insulted for myself because of the time and the effort that goes into it. I'm insulted for the viewers because they don't think you're intelligent enough to decide for yourself what you do and don't want to see. And, and that's, a, that's a really sad reality that we're in right now. People want to decide for you. And there's a lot of people that want that decision made for them because they're lazy and they don't want to think. Keep thinking. Don't be lazy. Make your own decisions. You don't have to listen to me. You know, I, I, I've said that plenty of times, and especially on Coffee Talk and those discussions. You don't have to listen to me. You can look this up for yourself. You can make your own decision. You can make your own choices. I'm just talking. Listen or don't. Anything else? No, I think I've said too much already. I'm okay. probably going to get in trouble for this one. <laughs> <laughs> Can't satisfy some people. I don't know. Um, anyways, as we continue on here, what more can I say but stay frosty, folks? Oh, you know what, though? Yeah. Take a look at the pocket. Mm -hmm. I do read the comment section. Somebody was asking me mm -hmm. uh, dimensions on that. They wanted to duplicate the hat. You can buy these hats in the store. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, they want, they know how to make it. Oh, it's that's cool. It's about three inches wide and about two inches deep. Oh, okay. So, and it's a working pocket. I used to have yeah, a ton a of those hats. It's a functional pocket yeah. but yeah I do go I do read the comment section I can't always comment a lot of times the comments are censored too so I'll get a, a prompt for it and then I go to open it up and it's not there mm -hmm. they, or it gets redacted there's lines through it and I can't read it um, or there's the new one the safety feature is another stupid bonehead one where it says uh, comments are hidden for your protection or something like that and you click open it and then you get another uh, box that says are you sure you want to open this it may contain strong language or something goofy it's like let me read the comment i'm not that much of a baby they reader. don't do that with some videos that you show you all kind of nastiness yeah i know what do you think but, i am six let me open the damn comment and read it and then you authorize the comment and it still doesn't go onto the feed so what was the point <laughs> I just, I don't know, it, a nanny state. It, yeah. It's really sickening. But anyway, uh, I've probably gone on long enough here. We got to keep moving. Yeah. That deer's in there somewhere. Yeah. But uh, what more can I say? But stay frosty, folks. And thanks for watching. We're hanging in there. <laughs>